Heck. Oh, it's killing me. My deck is killing me. Hershapond. You. You there. Well, well, is it, if it isn't my friend Bella Astera. Would you care for a plate of roasted caracul? Some mulled wine? No? Ah, I see you come not to, You have not come into my hall merely to escape the, bri the biting cold. I was, in fact, on the verge of opening an urgent missive from Reverend Soul. I suspect the timing of your arrival is no coincidence. Hershapon. The incident with the new frontier hands? No, no, you need not elaborate. I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Curthus soil. Right glad am I that you have chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies or her debts. Twas in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. That the shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Poor fortune, I say, yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. This new unity of purpose we attribute to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant resources to the task of identifying this woman, we have yet to learn so much as her birth name. Mm. What we do know is that the heretics speak of Iceheart in reverent tones and would gladly embrace death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed, and I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. The brigands have not yet been so brazen as to risk direct confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever-increasing regularity. A visit to Whitebrim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows? Knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait. Of course, let's just do it. Let's get it out of the way. We got, uh, did we do it or Hello, we do it now or blessings later? Be upon you. Though I take no pride in the admission, many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Were they dragons? It might be otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But truly, I could not wish for a finer ally. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again ere long. All I'm saying is you're lucky that we're friends. Or you're lucky we're friends. Because I wouldn't be so inclined to Should help immediately if battle, not. Pray return to me forthwith. A warm hearth and a warmer welcome shall be waiting for you. I'd question, you know... I'd question actually doing it in immediately if uh, we weren't just so good of friends. Harshafar. Harshafar. Off we go. All the way over here. there let me up let me up uh uh Vermont, i know you're up there oh you're right here i knew get over here you bella bella is there aught you would ask of me speak pray speak plainly i'm a man of action and need no honeyed words 
on the trail of a band of thieving heretics, you say? By the fury, but you do seem destined to cross paths with those villains. I must confess, then, the sad truth that the wilds her hereabouts, uh, wild hereabouts have indeed grown thick with their number. They strike swiftly without warning and are canny enough to evade our most able trackers. But it is not merely their newfound organization that confounds us. The heretics themselves seem somehow changed. I know not what manner of influence this ice, ice heart fields and wields, but the men w we face seem utterly lost in a grip of righteous fever. 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 It is an unsettling and unnatural zeal. Perhaps you would care to question one of their recent victims. As fate would have it, your arrival came m moments after a traitor was waylaid on the road. The troll found the unfortunate fellow lying um, s senseless in the snow and carried him to our infirmary. Assuming he has regained the use of his facilities, the merchant might recall some small detail that could aid you in your task. I got you, Dramond. Got Chocobo. Away! He's in the infirmary. The infirmary is above us. This is where we found the Lala bots last time. Ew. Tell you, tell you what happened? Why, yes, of course. I am quite recovered enough for that. Anything to help catch those cowardly black hearts. I was traveling my usual route to White Brim Front when a sudden blow sent me reeling. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground and several heretics were rifling through my cargo. Arms, armor, crystals, they were taking everything. Crystals, though. They're taking crystals, you say. Hmm. It was then that one of them noticed my ble um, bleary gaze and stalked over to better acquaint my head with his mace. Before darkness came me, uh, claimed me, however, I distinctly heard the words, Return to Snowcloak. I dare say that is where they were hauling my goods, but you'll not catch me rushing off in pursuit. They tell me it was a miracle I survived at all, and I'm not tr trust my thick skull to save me a second time. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Snow cloak. Look me, I'm immune to the cold. So I can wear whatever the fuck I want. You. Hmm. We found some heretics. Some heretics. How's Durin Dare Knight? What are you doing here? Ah! Draw your weapon, foul. Wait, I recognize you, adventurer. You all come seeking heretics? Then we share a common purpose. We were on patrol when we chanced across one of their raiding parties and pursued them here. By rights, we should have had them cornered in this ravine. And yet, they are gone. Vanished like icy wraiths. Hmm. Hmm. Who dat? Who dat? Oh. <laughs> it's a uh, ice heart woman. Hmm. I think I didn't see that. My slime sees all. It sees all. You glimpsed a woman atop the cliff. Could it be the ice heart herself come to sneer at our folly? And to where did she disappear? The heretics must have discovered a passage through the frozen wall. Some hidden tunnel that escaped our notice. We have not the men to risk further investigation. Be best we uh, were we to return to Whiteburn Front and lay our suspicions before Lord Dremont. Get to Lord Dremont then. 
Come on, Sildra. Drillmont. Oh, Drillmont. There you are. Bella, it appears I owe you my thanks once again. The surviving knights spared no detail in their report. The men you found out near Snowcloak were some of my finest. That they would be best to so handily. I fear I have wo woefully underestimated the threat these heretics pose. I understand you might balk at the notion. I must ask that you put aside your mission and consider the stolen provisions lost for us for now. Would be ill-advised to plunder un unprepared into what may be and well be the very lair of our enemy. Pray return to Dragonhead and inform Lord Harshifant of your dis of your discoveries. He will wish to plan a uh, contingencies of his own. As for as for Iceheart and her fanatics, the freezing heights of Snowcloak will not shield them from our justice for long. Arshafant, we're coming! Come Ram amounts that I do not know the name of. We must speak to Harshafant. What's this thing called? This thing is called a Grani. Possessed with the strength of both mind and body that is unmatched in the first as a mount, Grani has no peer on land nor in the heavens. It is said that, however, the noble creature will only accept a rider who has pledged to restore shadow to a land befit of night. Interesting. I'm assuming this is probably the Shadow Bringer's uh, Collector's Edition mount. That would make sense. That would make sense. Harshafont. We're back. Your return is most timely. Of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress thereof. I confess my imaginings tended toward the grim and bloody. But you are here now. And I suspect such frivolous wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? Everything. Much as we possibly could. Indeed. And this transpired at Snowcloak? Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of the region's brutal shift in climate. So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more robust reconnaissance effort is in order. Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this ice heart. That she is capable of commanding such a band of fanatics bespeaks natural authority, and no small measure of charisma. <sighs> as much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, the situation has grown beyond my personal purview. I am bound by duty to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Though Iceheart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. Mm-hmm, it's true. On the matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Toll. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. True. Archivon's such a nice guy. He's such a nice guy. Okay, back to Slathborn and Revenant's Toll, I guess. Oh, it's all the way down there. Ugh. Teleporting.
Dumb hat. We're getting dumb hat. Dumb hat. Dumb hat. And it's worse than my current hat. Dumb hat. Dumb hat. Slotborn. Bella, it is good to see you return to the toll. How far do you in the frozen wastes of Korthros? Our sports hems is to send us a second shipment. I must think, send thanks to Lord Harshavon for his continued generosity. And even as our troops grow in prosperity, I fear it will attract uh, attract ever greater numbers of those who would do us harm in the same as uh, in the name of greed or power. All of us, Alpha Now's new recruits included, must remain vigilant against such threats. Not, not better. Ours is better. We're going with the money. Could we? You might, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this helmet. Okay, stop one. Brave new companions. Ooh, oh, I, I love this helmet. Look at this. It's so good. The, the the Mad Hatter hat is just it's so good it's just so good while you were wait while you were away in Kothras, preparations for the inaugural ceremony were all but completed though Tataru does yet seem somewhat flustered I've taken enough of your time why don't you head into the Rising Stones and see it for see if your frantic reception receptionist could do with a hand. Okay, Tataru. What do you need help with? What do you need help with, Tataru? We're here. It's okay. These parchments need to be sorted in these documents? Why are they even here? Oh, I'm so sorely tempted to file the lot in my new wastebasket. Oh, Bella, you startled me. You you wish to lend me a hand? Splendid. Will you be a dear and hand those in, these in, uh, uniforms to the new recruits? They're scattered about Revenant's Toll, and I haven't had the time to track them all down. The recruits know to don their garb immediately and assemble here in the Rising Stones. You'll want to report directly back to Alpha now if you don't wish to miss the ceremony. Wonder if the Scions will ever have matching uniforms. A well-funded organiza a well-funded organization is a well-dressed organization, I suppose. Okay, my recruits, you're just in Mordona. Let's go find them all, all eight of them. Wait, we didn't recruit eight. We recruited two, two in Gridania. We only recruited four. Who are the other four? This is suspicious. We didn't recruit you, Yuhaze. Those who believe this company will see no riches or short-sighted fools. Given of one's oneself, it is a investment in the future. Thus did I sign my name to the cause. Here's a uniform. These uniforms are a splendid idea. Once our organization has made a name for itself, there shall be wealth aplenty in, sell in selling replica costumes to the adoring masses. All about the money, huh? Okay, well, there's Laurentius. We did recruit him. I thought it was—I thought it was best to mimic my fellows here, but I admit that I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. What a, what a guy! What a guy! Ah, our new uniforms. I am reminded of my induction to the wa Wood Whalers. What a guy. He's like, what are we looking at, you guys? What are we looking at? Go up here. Ilbird. 
we, I don't know if we were, did we recruit Ilbert? I don't remember recruiting Ilbert. Oh, no, we, I think we did. I don't remember. I don't believe we, no, we have not. I don't believe we've met. I'm Ilbert, and I have the honor of leading my fellow recruits as captain. What should I lose to the Calamity? And I look forward to aiding in others and to, in rebuilding their lives. Is it your uniform? And uniforms are a shrewd decision. There is no easy method of creating common bond among what is essentially a band of strangers. Erg McHurse. We didn't recruit this guy either. The Scarlet Cobb mocks me as a proud member of the Maelstrom and a haughty defender of Limsa Laminsa. Yet in truth, I stand for the betterment of the realm and th thought this new company a fine opportunity to contribute on... Um, co to contribute on a grander scale. Well, here's your uniform. Oh, now that's a striking shade of blue. But alongside my Maelstrom uniform, my wardrobe will certainly not lack for color. Where's the next people? Where are you? Down there? Ephim Hemini. Bella, Sarah, gods, I did not expect to meet you strong about town. The tales of your primal battles were what inspired me to come to Redmond's Toll. It's an honor to receive this uniform from your hands. I shall wear it as with wear it with pride. Ah, a fan. Wilfred? Well, forget your fucking uniform on, boy. Little Alamigo, little Alamigo could learn much from Revenant's Toll. That is, this, as this town can be so alive in the midst of such desolation. Never, never worn art quite so vol voluptuous. Well, I'm sure I'll grow accustomed to the extra cloth in time. Okay, and then we got over here, we got Ali Alelelein. Isildur has at last retired from the adventurer's life. Though I, mi I shall miss his wisdom and ir ir irrepressible spirits, I am excited to forge my own path forward. Ah, yes, the uniform, thank you. Uh, truth to be told, the thought of pledging myself to such a lofty organization is somewhat intimidating. And last but not least, our boy, Riol. Hello, Riol. Hello there, lass. Looking for me, was he? I'd suggest giving a whistle, but I'm not sure I'd hear it amongst all the bustle. Oh, proper uniforms and all. This thing will cut off the blood to me, to me head. Not to worry, though. I'm sure she'll be fine after making a few adjustments. Oh, Riol. Thus, back to the Rising Stones. To Alphenaud. To our boy, Alphenaud. Yes, Bella. Ah, Tatar mentioned you were handing out new uniforms. I assumed you, you've now met the rest of the recruits. Some few answered the call to arms I put forth through the established grand companies and such. We are not yet an army, but there is much a small corps of elite warriors can achieve. Did I mention I'd thought of a name for the company? It is my hope that it, is, it shall soon be known across the breadth of Eorzea. The moment of truth draws near, Bella. Once the last of the recruits have gathered, I shall make the official announcement. Look at all of our people. Comrades, your presence here this day signifies the momentous choice that each of you has made. With your strength now pledged to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you are beholden to no single nation. You stand as the vanguard for a united Eorzea. From this moment forth, I declare you crystal braves. Let us mend this fractured realm and face our enemies as one. That's a good name. 
Whether it be the Beastmen and their primals, or the conflict in Cartano, it is plain that the nations of Eorzea cannot solve the problems which plague the realm. Thus does it fall to some few heroic souls to succeed where they have failed. Come, take your place at the Scion's side as guardians of Eorzea, and together we shall fight for the freedom of all. Hell yeah. For the freedom of all. Freedom. Hell yeah, dude. A rousing speech, Alphano. Or should I say, Crystal Brave Commander Leverieux? Yes. Please, Antecedent. The title is honorary. I shall not be leading the troops into battle, as it were. We are of the same purpose. Let us join hands and do what must be done to save this land. The Scions stand ready. Yes, let's do this. Verminvilia. I'm eager to see what the Crystal Braves might accomplish. This shall prove an interesting time indeed for the Scions. What's yes, up, Minfilia? I'm listening. What's happening? So our worst fears are confirmed. The entire isle. Such power defies comprehension. Truly? Kryle is alive? Thank the Twelve. I see. Pray, inform me if her condition changes. Yes, I shall pass on your words to Arianger. My thanks. I shall contact you anon. When I learned of the loss of the Isle of Val, I dared not hope that my friend had survived. Yet, by some miracle, it would seem she has. She's still to regain consciousness, it is true, but better that than death. To a degree. Putting this happy news to one side, we must now endeavor to make sense of the readings taken by the survey party. It appears the etheric disturbance which accompanied the Isle's destruction is of a magnitude alarmingly close to that of Ultima. Could the Asians be responsible for this devastation as well? Wouldn't doubt it. I wonder. Have you heard aught from the Mother Crystal since the battle with the Garleans? Not at all. Being honest, not yeah, not at all. Then she speaks to neither one of us. Heidelin's silence portends not but ill, I fear. Louis Soir, I pray you yet watch over us. I hope for the best. I want the hat. I love the hat. I love it. It looks so good. Very good. See that the provisions are prepared for transport. Let us hope that the shipment has spared the, the fate of the last. What's happening, Hershevant? The winds are uncommon, uh, are uncommon fierce this day.
Hmm, the king. Evil king being controlled by Ashians. Interesting. Mm. Oh, that's the end of, ch of patch 2.3. Now we're on to patch 2.4. We got to patch 2.5 and patch 2.55. Then we're on to Stormblood. We got a long way to go. We still got how many quests to see. Forty-two, forty-two quests. Long way to go still. Okay, Minvilia, traitor in the midst. Oh god. Oh no, what now? Ah, try as I might, I cannot shake a creeping sense of dark foreboding. But it avails us not to fret about the unknown. We must con concentrate uh instead of uh, Instead on the problems on the, of the present. The primals have been relatively quiet as of late, and the beast tribes who summon them are under constant surveillance by the Grand Company. Should any suspicious activity be afoot, you may be certain that we will hear of it. And until such time was a, uh, ha as a permanent solution to the primals' problem has been found, we can do little but wait and observe. As for the Ashians, Erge is wholly dedicated to finding the means which... By which we may defeat the dark beings. Let's pray for good tidings on that front. But all, um, but all of this you knew already. Let's speak with the current of matter, in particular the state of the Crystal Braves. Alf now did well to found the organization, but ensur ensuring its smooth operation is another ent matter entirely. Though I doubt not that he, that he is doing his best. I felt that a helping hand or two would not go astray. To this end, I offered to send one of the Archons to assist him, but he declined. You know how he can be, independent to a fault and singularly loath to accept help. Save, of course, when that when that help comes from you. Alphanaut has entrusted countless matters of import to your care in the past, and I believe he would not hesitate to do so again. For you to offer... Sure, uh, I should be most grateful if you would go to him and support him if whatever matter you are able. Okay, okay, we're going to Alfnaud. Alfnaud? My boy. Many years are the same. I wanted to see if we could change our title. Yes, you're now the Defender of Eorzea. Alfnaud, you. What is it, Bella? And do not and do be concise. I am rather busy. Hmm? You lend a hand, you say? I see. Well, now that you mention it, there is a matter that wants for attention. In its sensitive nature, I was hesitant to entrust it to my braves. Demands upon my time are such that I had little choice. Which is not to say that my men are want for labor, though we are but newly formed, there is already a great demand for our services, and we are hard-pressed to answer all petitions, but I digress. 
Fact is, I would sooner attend to this particular matter myself, but my presence is required elsewhere. That being the case, I have entrusted this resolution to my second in command, Captain Ilbird. Tell him that I sent you. He will furnish you with the particulars. I think in advance, Bella. Ilbird? Hello, Com Commander Ilbird. Hello. Hail to you, Scion. How might we serve you? Well, you see, I heard they had a job for me. Commander Leverieur bade you serve us? These are welcome tidings indeed. Given the sensitive nature of the task, I could not rely on one of my own. That which mm -hmm. I'm about to tell you, I tell you in the strictest confidence. Yes, yeah, so instead of going to a separate room, we're going to stay in the main hall. Okay. Some days ago, we received certain documents from an anonymous source. They notified us of the presence of a Garlean agent within the ranks of one of the grand companies. Oh, great. Following some discreet inquiries, we identified a suspect among the immortal flames whom we detained for questioning. Alas, the man was not our agent. He was but one of many men in the agent's employ. Oh, God. Like a spider web. We pressed the traitor for a name, but he had none to give. He claims never to have met his master, whom he knows only as the Ivy. Okay. He was, however, certain that this Ivy had coiled itself around every part of the immortal flames. It would seem our quarry joined the company some time ago and gradually recruited others to his cause. These conspirators are the vines by which he learns our secrets, all without exposing himself. Hmm. It won't be easy to identify the ivy amidst this tangled mass of subterfuge. But we have a tendril in our hands, and we shall follow it all the way to the gnarled root. Now, much as I would prefer to proceed with due discretion, circumstances demand that this matter be settled post-haste. Garlemald's war of succession nears its end, and it is feared that the Empire will soon resume its march on Eorzea. I wouldn't doubt. When it does, we can ill afford to have traitors in our midst. The ivy must be rooted out now. Yeah, as soon as fucking possible. We must begin by apprising General Roban of our findings. I would ask that you accompany me to the Hall of Flames and remain on hand to see that things go smoothly. Yeah, we gotta figure something out because... Assuming the Ivy's tendrils are as mm. widespread as we believe, he will be aware that an investigation is underway. And if that is the case, he may well move against us. Uh... We must be prepared for anything while taking care not to betray our purposes by seeming prepared. A simple enough task for a one-woman army like you. Okay, to Raban, I guess. Yeah, we gotta find this traitor before he fucks us up. Oh, uh, why do things always have to be complicated? Why can't we just have a nice good time? Why can't we just have a nice time and get along? Hey, Raban. We're here to talk to you about a traitor in your recruitment. Well, well. What brings you here, my friend? She is here at my behest. Greetings, Raban. It has been a while. Hilbert, you old scoundrel. When they told me you'd be visiting, I scarce believed my ears. Well, think at least they're friends. Oh, God. Uh, 
But look at you! The honored captain of the Crystal Bloody Braves! Who'd have imagined, eh? Hey, hey! Not many, but fewer still would have imagined your destiny lay in politics, old friend. Aye, we've both come far, have we not? Why do I feel like they're, like, childhood friends? Lest you wonder, Hilbert and I go back a long way. We've been friends and rivals since we were lads. Uh, I knew it. The last time we saw each other, Alamigo had just fallen, so you can guess how many summers it's been. And in all that time, not a word from the fool. Yeah, what a dick. I thought you were supposed to be friends. Ah, oh, well, my dealings tended toward the modest and mundane, unlike some I could mention. As I hear it, no sooner did you reach Thanaland than the brass blades clapped you in irons and dragged you off to die on the blood sands. Being a stubborn sort, you won a thousand matches and earned yourself a place in the people's hearts while you were about it. Then, with your mountain of prize money, you bought the Colosseum and secured a seat on the Syndicate. Those balls, brother! Rags to riches does not do it justice. You're a hero to the common man. Yeah, holy shit. I didn't know any of that. Rob Bond's a fucking badass. Pa, spare me. I am no hero. If anyone is worthy of that title, it's our friend here. Next to her, I'm little more than a glorified butcher. Rob Bond, you're a badass. But you, Wilbert, you sell yourself short. By all accounts, you are an adventurer of some standing. I like to think that I did my part for the greater good. But if you're no hero, then I'm no adventurer, not in this company. Anyway. Mm-hmm. They're both sucking my dick. I have tidings. So there has been progress. I've let it be known that this meeting is a reunion between old friends. None will give your visit a second thought. To convene elsewhere would only attract attention. Let us speak here, in plain view of all. Hmm. So it is we who have been compromised. Taleji Adeleji's machinations have shaken Ulda to her foundations. True, though. In such uncertain times, a man's loyalty may be bought for a fistful of gill. Yeah, all because of Taleji Adeleji. Straight up, it's like fucked over the all of Ulda. Now no one can trust each other. Because he was like the most trustworthy guy until you realize, oh shit, he was evil all along. But if this snake has truly been in our midst for as long as you say... We must needs consider a far graver possibility. Conspiracy. Could it be that the monetarists have been in league with the Empire from the first? Very well. I will have my most trusted men investigate the matter. Continue your inquiries in the meantime. It does me well to see you again, old friend. When next we meet, let it be over a flagon of ale. Yeah, exactly. I look forward to it. Let us reminisce of bygone days and drink to the future of our homeland. It'll be freed eventually in due time. Ow. Flame General. You wear the mantle well, old friend. I must work hard if I'm to keep up. Yeah, do better. Well, it would seem your services were not required after all. I dare say we have Roban's prudence to thank for that. Still, I was glad of your presence. My thanks, Sion. Yeah, like, Roban's a really smart guy. He knows not to fuck these kind of things up. Okay, are these better? No, they're gonna be worse than our current stuff. Uh, then we'll go with this piece of gear, like before. 
Kill the bird. A hunt for the ivory, uh, ivy begins in earnest, Sion. Suffice to say it, we must thread warily, and tread warily. But one mis misstep may well cost us our lives. Our business here is concluded for the time being. Let us return to the Rising Stones and report to Commander Levier. Do the Rising Stones, I guess. Okay, so that's where I'm going to take a break really quick. And I'm just going to get some water. And then we will... Uh, Look at that mount. We'll come back. I'm eating truffle. Oh, so good. Anywho. Too all for now. Hi, off now. The return from Old Dark Commander. Not a moment too soon. Something has happened. Trouble? You will recall that the fourth um, that the fourth was tasked with reconnoitering the rendezvous. Um, Rendezvous site uh, used by the Ivy's minions in his Imperial contract uh, contacts. Soon after you left, we deceived word that, that the unit was ambushed en route to its destination. God damn it. According to the report, one of ours has been taken captive. The Garleans are not wont to retreat their foremen in dignity, and I have grave fears for her safety. We must dispatch a rescue party at once. Recall those braves who are who are afield. Begging your pardon, Commander, but we have not the time. I'm afraid I must ask for your aid once more, Scion. An ill-prepared rescue party will only serve to provide the Garleans with more captives. Yet time is of the essence. Simply put, you are the best chance we have. Captain Isbard uh, has the right of it. I, I will trust you. Uh, I trust you are willing, but of course, uh, but of course you are. Now, Alien of the Fourth lies in wait in the tangle near the entrance to Castrum Century. Seek her out, and she will apprise you of the situation. Ah, fuck, dude. Of course, something had to have happened while we were gone. Oh, uh, do the tangle. Off we go. Okay, let's do it. What do you got for me, Alien? Alien? You would aid us in the rescue mission? We are in your debt, Warrior of Light. Now, time is against us, so allow me to be brief on your on the situation. The Galileans fell upon us without warning, wounding poor Resh and hauling her away to the castrum yonder. Outnumbered as we were, it was all we could do to flee to flee and regroup. Even as we speak, the Galileans may be interrogating Resh. Or worse, with her hurts, I fear that she will not look not long survive their attentions we must rescue her without delay our order may yet be in its infancy but the bond that binds us is strong as mithril none of us will stand by while a comrade suffers we the remnants of the fourth will infiltrate castrum sentry please help us find resh before it's too late let's do it let's go save her you guys run i'll just fly over there Sounds like a plan to me. Resh, we're coming to save your butt. Resh. 
Resh, where you at, girl? There you are. Resh Polali. Aha! You thought you could sneak up on me. I'm the one doing the sneaking onto you. Attack! Bah! Fresh, you good? I'm gonna boo just in case. Fresh, you good, girl? Uh, wh wh where am I? Fresh, you good? Fresh, thank the gods we found you. Thank you, and thank you, Warrior of Light. Now to quit this accursed, pl to quit this accursed place. Fresh cannot move with these those wounds. She will need to be carried out. I believe a diversion is in order. But we trouble you to provide one. Given your rep reputation, I suspect the Garleans will be only happy to grant you their undivided attention. If you are to create commotion within the sanctuary. We should be able to seal away unnoticed. Let's speak again once we are safely outside these walls. I gotcha. Let's go kill some dudes. Come on, Vu. Eedle eedle dee. I'm here. We are here to fight. You're so cool with your heart stopper move. Well, I got that. Aha! Ah, uh, bah! Fights, dude. That's one down. Paralysis. Paralysis. Next one. Bring it. Ah. All, all you guys want to fight, huh? Easy fights. And last one's up north. We're so close to leveling. We're literally, what is it? It's 126 experience away from leveling. After this guy, we'll level. There we go. Got a new move. Got the, the Keki guys unlocked. What is this? I guess we'll have to get into that after we, we're done with this. I don't know what the Keki gauge is. We have unlocked it. Uh, I don't know what it is, but we just did a thing. Oh, there we go. Because it looks like completing combos fills the gauge. what it looks like. Okay, so I was using my then my range move. What about doing a, a big attack? Yeah, that doesn't fill the gauge at all. Bosom buddies. Oh, Vu leveled up. Okay, Kenki gauge. Kenki gauge. Kenki gauge displays the current amount of Kenki a samurai has accumulated. Accumulated Kenki. Um. 
Kinky slowly builds in the same way. Uh, third, uh, level execution for third eye. Kinky is required to execute some moves. Kinky just displays the third. Oh, okay, wait, 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 we already know about that. I gotta go into the HUD and move around then. Right there. There we go. Now it's right there. We're gonna move this around too, that means. What was this? Increased potency of weapons. Oh, okay, so it increases our damage by 50%. That's nice. That right there. Yeah, so put that right there. You know, we'll, we'll, the buff. We'll put that there. Put that these down. Put it right here, because that's where our buffs are for Monk. Makes it a little bit easier for my head on remembering what it does. Cool. Look at Vu really quick, actually. Vu! Get that Choco Cure. And get that increased accuracy. Who is becoming a healer. I have awaited your return most anxiously, my friend. You have done us a great service indeed. Thanks to your aid, our commander, our comrade Resh is safe. We suffered no further casualties. Words cannot express my, my gratitude. All that is left is to report the mission success to Commander Levier. I uh, shall go on ahead to the Rising Stones. Okay, cool. We saved her. Really quick, though. I want to... Did we... From that experience... We have more... Yes, yeah, so we can do the next job quest. So after we turn this quest in, we'll go back to Old Da. We'll do the next samurai quest. I wonder how long this stays. Or if it goes away after, like, I teleport. Just like the, uh, this gauge. To the Rising Stones. Oh yeah, so after we instance it goes away. That's that makes sense. Up now we're here, we saved the girl. Ah, it does me well to see you see you thus returned. Though I doubt not your prowess, entering an enemy stronghold is generally considered to be a risk adventure. I must confess I to have been a trifle anxious. But here you are, hale and in whole, having succeeded in your mission as is your wont. Lest you wonder, the woman you rescued is being cared for by the Domans. Thanks to their expert ministrations, the danger is past. You have my gratitude, Bella. Allow me to thank you, uh, thank you also, Sion. Rest shows you her life. We, esca we escaped with minimal casualties this time, but we can ill afford to be caught off guard again. The Empire is not an opponent to be trifled with. As you as you say, Commander, I will see to it that the men keep their wits about them. It may yet take time, but I will not rest until we have identified and apprehended the Ivy. I have every confidence that you will succeed, Captain. As for you, Bella, I realize you have scarce caught your breath, but I am afraid there is... No more rest for the weary. I require that you accompany me to Kotharas. I have been granted an audience with an Ishgardian dignitary, you see, and the man expressly, expressly requested your presence. Oh, do not look so surprised. You should be familiar with the trappings of fame by now. We shall depart as soon as you are ready. We're going to take the gloves. Coming to terms. Uh, before we accept this, we're going to go do our samurai quest in Ulda. There it is, the Sands of Debt. 